The following audit was done as a result of being let down by the neighbourhood team at Greater Manchester Police's West Didsbury Station following a nightmarish three and a half years of racial harassment, abuse, homophobia, death threats, stalking, assault and a litany of other offences at the hands of my ex-neighbour which resulted in a total of 150 offences and calls to the police with only two being actioned by them, which eventually led to guilty verdicts for two hate crimes. Although this individual was finally arrested on 26th of October 2023, after racially harassing and threatening another individual, the aggressor's mother stalked and harassed me on 3rd of November 2023. The West Didsbury police, who had plans to make a further arrest, decided to close the case pending no further action without looking for evidence which was openly available to them. Constantly the terms too busy and overworked were thrown around when I have complained about their service, so I decided to visit the station to see whether or not this was indeed the case. Right, we're going towards West Disbury Police Station. I'm going to see now the station that has failed me for two years, three and a half years, that has failed consistently to send out police officers to deal with racial harassment. And we're going to see just exactly how overworked and busy they are. Great. They don't seem very busy, do they? The way they make out, but they are consistently out people to send when I've been racially terrorized by my next door neighbor. Do they look busy? Barely. Let's have a look if this phone works. Nope, it doesn't work. If you are here to have a pre-arranged appointment to speak to someone at your nearest open inquiry counter. Why well, yes, I think I will take you too. Okay. No, I'm not okay. What's up? What's up? Uh, do you work here? Well, I've just, I've just left for the day, but I'll help if I can. Yes, you can help me. So basically, I think I've been blacklisted by the police. I've been racially harassed by my next door three and a half years. All of the officers here in the neighbourhood office have failed me consistently and have allowed me to be abused without any any effort. And I just wanted to come here to see how busy you lot are. It doesn't seem very busy, does it? It's not open to the public. That's it's not open to the public. No, some police stations are and some, and some aren't. Well, that's tough for me, isn't it? Are you a sergeant? Are you a police officer? What no, do you do? Um, no, I, no I, mean, I, was, I was a police officer, retired. Okay. Well, I'm doing an audit today. I don't know why. I don't see what difference it makes. It doesn't bring back the last three and a half years of my life. But the neighbor that working here, they've let me down for three and a half years. And I want to, I want to see just exactly how busy they are by being here. Doesn't seem very busy, does it? Well, it's not open to the public, so you can't really see what's going on. Okay, if it's um, but I, well, well, this is public. Isn't isn't this all paid by the public? Aren't the people who are supposed to be protecting me supposed to be paid by the public? Am I not paying for this service myself? No, it doesn't. It wouldn't seem that way, would it? Is it somebody that you want to speak to at the front desk? No, I'm just here to look. I'm just here to look oh, at what, okay. what the public's money is being spent on. Because okay. it, it seems like nothing at all is being spent on the public. It seems like a bunch of tossers are in, in there wasting public's money and making my life a misery. They've wasted, they've wasted three and a half years of my life. And I want it back. I want them to do their jobs and arrest this person who's been racially harassing me. I want three and a half years of my life back. Do you have a name of an officer or a contact number? I have a few officers' uh, names yeah. I have. I have a PC Dave Ashton, I have a Sergeant 
Jade Wells, I have a PC Evans, I have a PC all part of the neighborhood office, all part of the same corrupt little group who don't like to do anything for minorities. And do they know how you feel? They know exactly how I feel. I made complaint after complaint, they've ignored after ignored, and I've been and I've been blacklisted because suddenly I get a, a visit from more officers from this station who are supposed to be arresting this person who has been harassing me and stalking me and they decided suddenly oh there's no crime being committed so apparently I don't have any human rights human rights have been violated by the people at this station yeah, yeah you, do, you do sound really upset I'm upset, yeah. I'm furious following the complaints procedure is probably the best way forward the, the complaints procedure has done nothing for me for three and a half years I've made numerous complaints about these officers and it has done nothing. All that the complaints handlers say is that we believe our officers have conducted themselves appropriately and they, they do not care about how I have been terrorised consistently and abused. Okay, I obviously can't, can't advise you because I don't know anything about your cases. Or I know that the neighbourhood office is that way. I know that because I've visited a couple times to give statements in the past. So I'm going to go and check over there to see if anybody is hanging around or if they are truly busy running around like headless chickens. If you have contact numbers for the officers that have been dealing with you... They don't give me anything. They don't give me numbers. They, give me, they don't even give me their cards. They don't give me anything. They give me no way of ever contacting them. Even email addresses? Nope. Everything that I found out is through 101, if, if I'm entitled to it. Today I was told that I wasn't even entitled to an officer's collar number when I called 101, and that is illegal. It should be, I should be entitled to at least know that the identity of the people are letting me down, but I don't. I'm going to go down there to see if anybody's hanging around and hopefully... It is an open to the public so you won't find a police officer hanging around here. You'd have to go to a front desk, right. a police station that's open to the public. Okay. Um, which the nearest one from here is probably Withenshaw. And then you have Central Park. I, I, don't need, I don't have any reason to go that far to go miles and miles out of my way to, to speak to officers that are in this building right now. It is disgusting. What's, what's it is name? absolutely disgusting. I'm not giving you my name. Okay. Because this is going to go online and the world can see how corrupt this police station is. Now get in. situated adjacent to the old main entrance. Thank you. Delivery, please call the number below for assistance. Facilities. Well, they don't mind being contacted by when they need a parcel delivered, but when it's people that need them, they got nothing. I'll give another call to this bloody phone. To call 101 for free. Don't need 101. Speak to someone at your nearest inquiry code. Okay, so number two. I'm waiting outside West Pittsburgh Police Station. Is there anybody um, around for the day? they've let me down and wasted my time so many times. They were supposed to arrest an individual who has been racially abusing me and they decided to close the case pending for no further action and this has happened 150 times over the past three and a half years. I want to know why they are wasting my time and wasting my life and wasting the taxpayers money.
I don't want to give you my name. You can f you can find that from the log. Yeah, pass them to pass it to the neighborhood team and ask them why they've wasted two three and a half years of my life, allowed me to be racially abused one hundred and fifty times without any action. Why they're sitting on their asses doing nothing. You pass the message on, I want to speak to them now. I want to know right now if any of them are sitting inside ignoring me right now. Excuse me. Hello? Excuse me. <coughs> Hello? Oh, yes. yes. I'm here to speak to someone. Are you from the neighborhood team? I'm not, unfortunately. Okay, is there anybody in the neighborhood team that I can speak to? Have you arranged an appointment? I haven't, but uh, I've had uh, another incident with my next door neighbor who's been racially abusing me for three and a half years. 150 incidents all been ignored. So the one who reported the crime should have an officer's... I don't know, I wasn't, I wasn't given it because the person on the 101 told me that I wasn't entitled to that information. So I'm here now, I know that they work at West Didsbury uh, and they work part of the, the neighbourhood team so I'm wondering uh, if there's anybody here that I can speak to about about why that log was closed and why it's okay for me to be racially abused. I have no idea mate, you'd have to, um, I said, so when you get given a crime number, right, um, you get given your crime number and the officers either email or phone number or, or call a number to contact them by email. Okay, um, I, didn't, I wasn't given any of those things. I wasn't given an ID card, I wasn't given any information of how to, to co get in touch with them. And this there has have happened. been multiple incidents, you said? There have been 150 incidents. Police in have three. gone on multiple times. Uh, they, they have changed over the years, let's put it that way, but they have never given me an ID card from, from this station. Well, you, you got an, do, you, do they text you on your phone, a blog nope. number or a crime nope. number? Nope. Are they giving you a card? Nope. There must be some way of recording the crime. Uh, I record everything on my phone. No, no, there's some way they've told you that they recorded the crime. I get, uh, I get a, a number message. when I get when I call 101, but I don't get any way to directly get in touch with the neighbourhood office, the neighbourhood team. I, I, it, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't be the team office, it'd be the officer that was directly involved in the investigation, right? Yeah. Uh, th they, they haven't given me any way to get in touch with them. I know that they work here behind that wall over there, but I don't know, uh, don't know how to get in touch with them directly. I, I said, you said you call 101, obviously, and ask, give that reference number you've got. Yeah, I do, that's what I do, but they don't call me back. They, they just they just leave it hanging and then suddenly out of the blue I will get a text message weeks later saying log has been closed no crime has been no crime has occurred so suddenly racial abuse uh, and breach of Equality Act 2010 is completely fine in this country and a violation of human rights is fine in this country. Well, I can't speak to how I'm not investigating your crime unfortunately. Well, I said that if you call that log number to 101 they will get you in contact with the officer. Uh, which is what I do. And they work here, so if you're going in there, could you ask it to see if someone's around to see? Do you have a name? Uh, there's a few officers, there's uh, PC Dave Ashton, Sergeant Jade Wells, uh, PC Stuart Anderson, um, there's PC Evans, uh, those are all the names. Um, yeah. I, mean, I, see, I, I, I don't know if they're, they're working currently today, but I yeah. can't speak to them, but I, I'll ask if you want. Yeah, yes please, no thank you. So far, so good. When it's not an officer from the neighborhood team, then it's, it's great. So, currently, I think I've been waiting for about 10, 12 minutes. I don't think anybody's coming out. I think that guy lied to me, probably went inside, uh, did a half frost, kind of like, uh, nobody around. But now he's gone. So, nobody is coming out. I'm gonna go back to that, uh, gonna go back to that telephone. Hello, uh, I'm still waiting outside the uh, police station in West Didsbury for the neighborhood team. Uh, I spoke to you a bit ago. Yes. 
Uh, he's not on duty. Do, are you allowed to tell me when he's on duty again? Uh, you haven't got his staff in. Oh, okay. Uh, are you are you uh, able to get that information? But I'm here now. Um, he's not on duty when he's on duty. No, what I'm saying to you is that when he, when these people are supposed to get in touch with me, they don't. Uh, when I'm here, they're not here. So I'd like to know when they are here so that they have no reason to ignore me anymore. Yes, if you could do that. I've been, don't worry about me waiting. I've been waiting three and a half years. I'll wait a few minutes longer if need be. I can't come back to the station. I have to make an appointment. Well, the thing is, I make an appointment through 101. They don't turn up. Uh, I make an appointment through 999. Nobody turns up. Uh, nobody comes out uh, on blue light emergencies when I need them. And I'm here. Uh, they should. If they're not here, then that's tough for me. But I'd like to know when they are going to be here because, uh, frankly, I don't know how to. Um, I don't know how to get in touch with these people. And I'm frustrated. Three and a half years I've been waiting for some form of justice and I keep getting denied it. I'd like to know when he's next in, please. Do you know what is... What's his supervisor called? Sergeant Gibb, okay, um, I'll wait for you to speak with Sergeant Gibb, um, I'm not going anywhere, um, I can call back on this yellow phone and how long would you say it would take you? An hour? Yes, I can come back in an hour, yes. Alright then, thank you. So, I have to wait for Sergeant Gibb and it's going to take an hour. It says a number cannot be reached. There is no zero. It says press zero to speak to the attendant. So I've come back. I've wasted my time coming back here and asking to speak to somebody. And the flipping phone doesn't work. So obviously I've been lied to. I'm going to press number one. Technically, it's pre arranged. Hello, um, I asked to speak to somebody earlier. Um, uh, I, I can't remember her name. I'm here to speak to somebody. I don't know what name is. So basically I used this phone over an hour ago, I said uh, could I have the next time this office is going to be in and uh, she said come back in an hour. I've come back in an hour, press number two and, no and nobody's answering. Uh, I can't, I think her name was Helen. Uh, I just wanted to know when PC Evans would be next be in. I don't, but his supervisor is uh, P uh, Sergeant Gibbs, I think. Uh, do I not give my name? Well, you've got the lock on I didn't get the name. You don't think it's the right lock number? But 
they left at three o'clock. She hung up on me. She hung up and now I've got nobody to speak to. I might have to phone that delivery company and see how far that gets me. Um, hopefully somebody opens the door and I'll click back. So I've just phoned the number and it went straight to voicemail. Um, I'm not sure if you can see that there's a poster in there that says current threat level substantial. So I don't know what that's about. But obviously it's not that substantial if crimes are going, you know, un uncalled out. Like I've seen several squad cars just circling around this station for the past hour and a bit. So um, I'm not really sure what else to say about that. Okay, on Wednesday. Alright, thank you very much. Alright, bye. It's not evening, it's afternoon. She put the phone down on me before I could uh, tell her that it isn't evening, even though it bloody well looks like it. I mean, it's only like 3.15 or 3.30. And now I get to go home. So, PC Evans is not back in until... 7 between 7 and 3 p.m. on Wednesday so I'm gonna be here early to speak to the guy and find some answers as to why racial harassment isn't a crime and isn't actionable by these idiots way home we're about 10 minutes later uh, I was just coming down the I was just coming down the um, carriageway the main road uh, towards the motorway and I saw about like five police cars of police van I was like why are, why are all these police vehicles coming away from West Didsbury where I've just been where it's just been like a ghost town and uh, then I bump into a neighbor who's ha been having the same issues as I am. And he says, those cars there, they were for Prince William, uh, who was visiting Manchester today. So, my 150 racial harassment complaints don't get seen to by a single damn officer whilst they're at their station. Yet, we have five vehicles screeching down the, the motorway for, for Prince Willie and what gives it's the privilege of having a crown in this country disgraceful